why, uh, obviously, new starting lineup tonight, but what did you make of James' play beyond just the four point play at the end? What did you make of his play and the new lineup? I uh, play, uh, play great. Um, you know, uh, seven assists, uh, three turnovers, that's a great ratio right there. Um, we didn't much as he uh, has the basketball. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't think I said we could worry about somebody else, but yeah, I know how good uh, he is. So. For you personally, um, getting used to the, like the new guys on the team, like James and PJ, and the spots that they like to operate in the floor. What has that process been like for you? And does it? Do you think that as the process has gone along, not just you, but everyone's gotten more comfortable? Um, I think, yeah, I mean, repetition is great. That's how you learn. Um, uh, like I said before, we got to keep playing basketball together and uh, figure out, um, you know, different areas when guys are getting hot or when they're attacking and the different passes they like to make, uh, the language. Just keep, gotta keep playing together, and uh, just keep uh, keeping our heads high and be confident. Kawhi, uh, to me too, that last sequence where at the timeout, Jabari is guarding you, and you're, you're got the ISO, and you make that decision to pass it over to James. Like, what were y'all trying to get out of that play, and, and like, what were you seeing to make that pass? Exactly what you said, man. <laughs> exactly. No magic to it. I have the ball. Uh, I seen um, his guy kind of lagging a little bit, um, and you know I trusted him. Uh, he's uh, one of the top 75 players this, this league ever seen, and I gave him the ball and he made the shot. Well, when you have a player of uh, of Russ's caliber uh, being asked to, to come off the bench and provide that kind of bench spark, um, what do you lose from that? And I guess what does that kind of say about the sacrifice that everyone on this team will have to? Kind of um, yeah, I mean. Uh, that's what it takes, uh, you know, if you, whatever coach needs, um, you know, you gotta, you know, kind of suck it up and um, just, you know, go go with it, you know what I mean? Just see what, uh, see what the oppor opportunity presents uh, for the team. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, I've been there before, uh, started my career and, you know, just, um, just every year, just uh, trying to, you know, see different you can win a basketball game, and uh, I think he's he, he's gonna be good. Uh, you know, it's gonna take time uh, for us all to figure it out, but um, I think he did well. Came in uh, in the game, and hit, a, hit a big three for us, and uh, got some stops. Great defense. So, um, yeah. I don't know if you knew, but this is like that was your personal like longest losing streak that you've been on your career. Is there anything you learned from something like that uh, over the last two weeks? Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's something that uh, you know I learned before. Just just losing games, uh, we just uh, keep being repetitive with our mistakes. As far as boxing out and not doing uh, rotations, uh, turning over the ball. Uh, if we keep doing that consistently, we will lose games. Uh, you know, tonight um, I think we had ten turnovers in the first half or something, and we finished with. It. 12, so we kind of turned it around in the second half, so that was a good thing. But uh, we still got a lot to work on. Uh, you know, we got to be able to bury the teams when we go up 10 and not make it a close game coming from behind. And uh, it's, some, it's just on the players, you know what I mean? And you can only get coached so much uh, until you that light switches in your head, or it never does, and you see the teams fail. So we got to figure out who we want to be. This was the team's first game this year, uh, or, or first win in like a close game within five points in the final five minutes. Yesterday, Ty was saying that when he has seen the struggles because the defense has broken down, so I think you guys ended on a 12-1 run tonight. What was different defensively in the final minutes? Uh, I think we got some steals. Uh, we stopped Valley. Um, deflections, uh, you know, the last game. Two games are, you know, the games we've been losing, like I said, have been repetitive. Uh, no transition defense. Um, the Denver game up five or six at the time, they come down and get a, a lob dunk in, in their home gym. So, and then other games, we're not boxing out. Guys aren't checking their man, running in, not doing rotations. They get two offensive rebounds, that's four points. So, 
We won this game by six tonight. Just that's how the game is. Three little mistakes could be nine or six points. All right, last two questions. Hey, uh, Kawhi, just you know the, the job that you guys are able to do with Jalen. He shot five for sixteen, finished with twenty points. Um, you know, once again, just repeating after him, just on the defensive effort, especially with you guys on the wings, to able, you know, being able to make it tough uh, for uh, their wings. Can you talk about that? I mean, uh, he, he's taking that next step every year. I don't know, he's stepping on the floor. He's still learning the game. Uh, he's been aggressive, uh, you know, throughout his career. And, you know, you don't have nights like this. Uh, you're not shooting the ball well. Uh, I know. Uh, he looks very confident in, you know, stepping into the next game and, you know, taking that next shot that he's going to make it. So, but, um, you've been with us, you know, we know he's the best player, so you got to throw two two or three bodies at him and make him miss. And, um, you know, we was fortunate enough tonight for him to go uh, 5 for 16. All right, last question. Hey, Kawhi, um, with Russ volunteering to come off the bench, I'm just curious if that's something he discussed with you guys um, before he talks to coach. Um, I mean, he just, uh, we are all trying to figure out ways to win. And, um, like I said before, uh, you know, it's, it's a notice, notice of very noticeable sacrifice that he's making just because he's not starting. Uh, but, um, you know, if he makes that, uh, leap like that, uh, it shows, uh, us and, you know, other teammates, uh, that are sitting on the bench that we all could sacrifice ourselves. Uh, you know, that's what we must uh, pretty much been doing. Um, nobody's going to get the same shots, like I said before. Um, you got to do the little detailed things uh, if you're not getting them or if you're not playing. And if you are playing, just boxing out, knowing your rotations, talking, running hard and playing hard. Um, like I said, it's only so much the coaches can do for you. Uh, it's on us to come out here and compete. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.